All right, Chico's, we're back. Labs project. If you know, you know. This is a real simple grip and rip. Oh, actually, this opens up really nice. Today's a real simple order. Two items. One is the Tungsten tape. Typically, I use this in the four corners. Uh, that's my preferred. But I know some people who go top, some people who go on the throat. It's really just your preference. However, I have never seen this. So this is the protection tape. So right now, this is how I kind of have mine set up. But it looks a little sloppy, right? It's a little, I mean, it looks homemade. I really like to put this edge guard over the tungsten tape. I'm gonna bust this open right now. Actually, it's already open. Interesting. Already open. Wow, it's already open. Not the end of the world though. I'm not gonna make us think about that, but that is back to back days from the lab division where I've gotten some interesting orders. All right, let's see. And this looks kind of wide. I gotta be honest. It looks a little wide. So this would fit the top and then I would hope that this would fit the rest. Okay, that's plenty for here and then plenty for here and I'll have a little bit left over. I'm gonna take off this junk tape, although this, this did work just fine. I did a little bit of a mending here. This was slightly wider than I wanted it to be, so I started to see the side of the tape on the face of the paddle, and it was really hard to get it even on both sides, especially in the corners. And I know it doesn't really make much of a difference because you should never make contact with the ball this far outside on the face, but I just didn't like it. It was like kind of kind of bleeding onto a little bit here, and then on this side it wasn't, and it just drove me crazy. So what I did was I just cut these just a little bit, just a little bit thinner so that I didn't have to see them on the side. I mean, I, I was a surgeon with my hands right there. This is nearly perfect. This is perfect. I'm being humble. This is perfect. It's like when you go to the iPhone store and you ask them to put the screen protector on your case, the manager comes out. He just knows how to flatten it without bubbles. You know, it's, just, it's a different animal. We're really, really even now. And then underneath, I did the tungsten tapes. They kind of overlap a little bit at the top, but they focus on the corners. And they're so long that I could kind of do the throat and the bottom corners. They slightly overlap on the sides, which I have no problem with because that's going to be a little bit more stability, bigger sweet spot while still maintaining the power. I have a little bit left over. I did it so that the Selkirk logo is never covered up. I thought that was pretty elite. And I actually have some tungsten tape under here in this slit and I have it closed with electrical tape. I guess I could use this extra strip in there just to be a little stylish but um i don't i don't have to i just have a little bit left over um overall i like it it's much better than that gray tape that i was using and it just looks a little bit more on brand and it's uh the stick is really good and i can't wait to hit with it that's a wrap thank you